I'm November Sunflower, and this little one right here is Little Miss. She is also the author of NovemberSunflowerJr.com if you want to check it out. But for this, we're working with Mom Select, and they sent us, or rather, they sent my Little Miss Treasure Hunters Peril at the Top of the World by James Patterson and Chris Krabenstein, I think is how you say it, but we're going to go with James Patterson for this one. And she's been reading it. And she's been taking lots of notes, as you can see. So I'm here to kind of give her the chance to talk about the book, um, give a little review of what she thinks of it. And really what I want to know is what has been your favorite part of Treasure Hunter so far? I really like when the, the E1 part, it's when this it's on this guy's knuckles in chapter 7 and then at the end of chapter 10 it's on this envelope that this pers this little lady gives them and it's a mystery because it ends there at chapter 10 so then you really want to read chapter 11 so what is it they get i don't understand they get an envelope and it says e1 that like it did on this guy's knuckles Ah, so it's a mystery that you have to solve. Yeah. But you have to keep reading to be able to solve it. Yes. That's your favorite part so far? Yeah. And why do you like that? Because it's a mystery. It's a mystery? Yeah, and E1 means the enlighten, enlightened ones. Oh, uh, okay. So tell me a little bit about who's in the book. Who are the characters? So far, there are these two twins, Bick and Beck, and their mom and dad. Miss the the fit, Mr. and Mrs. Kid, and their older sister Storm. Also, they call them. Her actual name is Stephanie, and Tommy, the older brother too. And then the twins' actual names are Bickford and um, Rebecca. So, but they call them Bick and Beck. Bick and Beck. Well, that's cute because they're twins. Yeah. That's kind of fun. And what kinds of things, what kind of adventures are they going on in here besides a mystery? Are they visiting any places? Yes, they're in Italy, Florence and Italy. Florence, Italy. Florence yeah. is, a, is a city in Italy. Yeah, and they're on vacation, and there's this tutor slash um, tour guide, and they're teaching the kid family about all these places in Florence, Italy. And also the bad guys are there too. They're bad guys? Yeah. They... So it's not just a mystery? So you're excited to read the rest of the book? Yes. And we're going to put this on our summer reading list that we, uh, we use for earning money at the bank. All right, cool. So anything else you want to tell everyone out there about this book? Um, Do you think it's a good book for a nine-year-old girl? Yes. Do you think it's a good book for uh, a seven-year-old boy? Yes. Like your brother? Yes. Yeah? Anybody else that you think it would be good for? Um. You think when you're 10 you're going to enjoy this book? Yes. What about when you're 11? Yes. Okay. What What age do you think this, this book is not going to be of interest to you? I don't think any age. Any age? Well, when is it going to be too easy for you to read? Probably when I'm an adult. <laughs> okay. So that's what Little Miss thinks of the kid family adventures in Treasure Hunter's Peril at the Top of the World. And thanks, Mom Select, for sending it to us.